gave you four tips and tricks on how to make your videos a little bit more cinematic with the bars, get rid of those keyframes, and get rid of those unwanted keyframes that you just couldn't figure out how to get rid of. Fix that audio. At least level it out a little bit, and then finally do that simple color grading. Buenos dias and welcome back to the vlog, everybody. So today I am gonna talk about four quick tips to help you in Final Cut Pro X. First, a quick and easy tip on making your videos a little bit more cinematic by adding those cinematic black bars. Ooh, we're gonna get that done. Deleting keyframes. Have you ever on Final Cut Pro just said, I don't even know how to get rid of a keyframe? At least I didn't for a while. I've got you covered there. Also, we're gonna talk about using the audio compressor plugin in Final Cut Pro just to kind of normalize or level out your highs and your lows on your audio. And then finally, we're gonna talk about some quick and easy, down and dirty color grading with Final Cut Pro using the Color Inspector. Let's do it. Okay, we're moving into full screen recording now. So the first thing I wanna do is improve your cinematic look, and that's just by adding those quick and simple cinematic bars. So let's go ahead and drop in a video clip, and what we got here is a nice aerial view of a mountain and a lake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select the video that we just placed in our timeline. Scroll over here to the right. And then we'll be looking at the video inspector. Go down to the area that says crop. And in that spot, you can do a variety of different looks with the cinematic bars. Where you wanna reveal your video, let's do that first. I'm working in 1080p. It would be a little bit different if you're working in 4K and so on. So work with the aspect ratio that you're working with, but in this case, 1080p, half of that is 540. Okay, I'm in the crop area here, and what I wanna do is I'm gonna change the top to 540, and I'm gonna keyframe that by clicking that little diamond. I'm gonna do the same for the bottom. I'm gonna go to 540 and I'm gonna keyframe that. So the whole image is completely covered, and what I wanna do is I wanna to go to a spot on the video where I want to start to reveal. We'll go about four seconds in or so, and then what we wanna do is bring it back to zero, and this is just going to be a nice, slow reveal for this video. So let's go back to that same area where it says top, it's set to zero, click enter. That'll actually get you your keyframe and then do the same for the bottom. Click zero and enter, and that'll get you a keyframe for that. So let's go back to the start, and you can kind of see that nice buttery opening. And if you don't want the bars to go all the way out and disappear to zero, then set up down, like for example, I can reset those. You can find the correct aspect ratio for cinematic bars, but if you're taking an eyeball look at it, the idea for cropping this, this isn't the best way, it's just a fast and easy way to do the cinematic bars. What it'll allow the audience to do is to focus more on a specific aspect of the video, and it kind of draws their eye to a certain spot, or at least a more collective spot in your video. Now I'm gonna take another piece of this video, and what I wanna do is I don't want the bars to go all the way up to the top to zero. I wanna leave it in somewhat that cinematic look so it's kind of cropped. I'm gonna go ahead and select my video and I'm gonna set, I'm gonna come back over here to crop. I'm gonna click on the top, the top crop and set that to 540 and keyframe it. I'm gonna set this to 540 and keyframe it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go four seconds in again. So at this rate, we're at five, so about nine. In this case now, I'm not gonna open this up to zero. I'm gonna open it up to where I think that I want the bars to be set at. So I'm actually gonna use the slider and open that top one up, and I'm gonna set it to about 94. And then that's keyframed, and then I'm gonna do the same for the bottom, which I'm gonna set to 94. And if you have trouble on the slider getting it at the same number, you can go ahead and type it in, 94, click enter, and you're good to go. Let's set it back to the front of this selection. 
that little buttery opening and should stop short of the top. There it is, and now you're in cinematic mode. And that's it, it's quick and easy. Okay, if you've ever been in Final Cut Pro and you've struggled to figure out how to get rid of keyframes, like you've set some keyframes, you've set ones that you don't want, and for whatever reason, you're clicking on this uh, area right over here, and the keyframes aren't going away, it continues to do the same thing over and over and over again, and you can't get rid of it. A quick and easy trick is to go ahead and select a piece of video that you want to get rid of the keyframe in, right click on the video selection, and then go down to show video animation, and we're going to display a little bit more of this. And then if you go to trim all, you'll see the selections right here on this timeline. In fact, I'm moving them around here. Um, but see these here? If you highlight them and then click delete, it gets rid of them. And if I get rid of all of them, I'll just get rid of those last two in the first selection. And then you can close the video animation. And then you'll notice it's in black screen right now. But as I play it, it's going to stay in black screen because I got rid of the keyframes. And so that's an easy way to get rid of the keyframes. Hey, if you know a better way or a faster way, leave me a comment down below. I'm sure other people would like to know faster and easier ways to get rid of keyframes. But that was one way that simple, easy to do, and you don't have to mess and fuss with the unknown. All right, tip number three, utilizing an audio compressor. You're going to come over here to the effects browser open that up, come down to audio, you could probably just search all, but go come down to audio under all and then select compressor. So Final Cut has a lot of different plugins to help with your audio. I don't mess with it too much. This is again, a nice, short, easy way to try to normalize, and balance out your audio. So I'm just gonna click on this compressor. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the second video here. Both videos are identical. I'm gonna play this a little bit here. Turn up the sound a bit, okay. All right. Hey, this is Pablo and I'm super excited Wait a second, I want you to see what's happening here. Okay, I've opened up the audio meter so we can actually see what's going on here um, on the right. So let's back it up and check out the peaking on the right side over here in the audio meter as I play this clip. Hey, this is Pablo and I'm super excited to test the audio and mic on this camera so I can test Presser in Final Cut Pro. Plug it. Oh, Final Cut Pro. Okay, so what's happening there is it it's getting it's getting way too close to zero. You want to have it between 12 and 6 is a good space. But the other thing is that I'm all over the place on pitch and things of that nature. And what I want to do is utilize the compressor so we won't get those high highs and those low lows. It'll kind of keep all of the sound a little bit more compressed. Let's go ahead and click on the second video, which is identical. I'll bring it back to the start here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the audio. We're gonna go up to the audio inspector, click on it, scroll down to compressor, and open up the effect editor here. And what I wanna do now is I've got some I've got some things that I typically do for most of my videos. Sometimes you just can't help the audio. You do what you can and it just sounds like garbage. But in this case, we have some pretty decent audio, but I have a lot of highs and lows and I wanna to try to compress that. I have some generic numbers that I use. You're gonna to have to kind of play with this to make it your own. But the numbers that I'm gonna use here are for threshold. Um, I'm gonna bring it down to about between three and seven and eight are the numbers that I'm looking at. On ratio, I'm gonna go three, one to one. All right, for makeup, I'm gonna keep it here at zero. I'm gonna turn off the auto gain. On release, I'm going to bring it over to about 100. The attack, I want it somewhere between one and 2.5. I'll put it at two, two five, 2 5, 2.5 is fine. And then I'm gonna bring down, I'm gonna bring down the knee to about 0.4, eh, let's go, let's go 0.6. Okay, um, you can mess with the gain here if you need to. 
Let's go ahead and play this clip now. Hey, this is Pablo, and I'm super excited to test the audio and mic on this camera so I can test a compressor in Final Cut Pro, the compressor plugin. I'm gonna put another compressor on the first clip here. I'm gonna drop that in there. Okay, now I have the compressor on the first clip, but I haven't made any adjustments. It just has all the default numbers on here. I'm gonna go ahead and play it, and I want you to look here on the meter, and look at about negative five. You don't want anything going much over or way too low below five. You kinda want it around that area. So check out what that looks like right here in this area. Hey, this is Pablo, and I'm super excited. Whoa test the audio and mic. It's getting up there at negative 10. So I can test. So we don't want it at negative 10. If you come back over to the one that we actually used the compressor and made the adjustments on, now let's play that back and take a look at the meter once again. Hey, this is Pablo and I'm super excited to test the audio and mic. So the threshold's probably a little low. I have a little bit more work to do there, but it really is a simple thing search compressor, throw it into your video, open up the actual meter, make the adjustments that I suggested or ones that work for you, and you're off to the races, you're good to go. Shouldn't take you more than five minutes. If your audio is just off the charts all over the place, this will normalize or at least bring it down to sound somewhat the same, a little bit deeper, richer sounding audio. All right, that's number three. Lastly, we're gonna go ahead and keep this same audio and video clip in here, and we're gonna do a little bit of color grading. Real simple, down and dirty. You don't ever do it, and you wanna start color grading, this might be the simple way to do it here in Final Cut Pro. So go ahead and select your video, come over here to the color inspector, click on it. The default is to just give you these sliders, which you can work with. No problem here. Here you can use the color board, you can use the color wheels, look like this, you can use the color curves, and you can use the hue and saturation curves. I'm gonna keep it simple, like I said, I want you to be able to be successful and just color grade on the fly and do something real quick. So I'm gonna go back to the color board. The color board has the main slider or master slider, which is this one here, and then obviously has the um, shadows, midtones, and highlights, which are your blacks, your grays, and your whites. I like to start off with the exposure, and on exposure, I just use the master slider. If you want a little bit lighter look, you kind of just pull up that slider at the top, okay? It's gonna wash it out a little bit. If you want to darken it and get some more richness to it, you kind of pull down that slider. You can see the blacks are being crushed here. Uh, so it all depends on the look you want. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of leave it down here. Things in the back pop a little bit more. Um, but again, you can mess with the other ones. But, I'm, but like I was saying, I want this to be quick and easy. Now we're gonna move right on to saturation. And same thing, you have your shadows, midtones, and highlights for saturation. Again, so this again, this is gonna intensify whatever you have chosen. So if I go up, it kind of gives me a little bit warmer look. And if I go down, it's starting to cool it down and into that almost black and white look. And there I am, black and white. So it all depends on what you're looking for. I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of color. Now I'm gonna, if you notice, there's a checkbox here at the color on the color board right here. I'm gonna go ahead and unclick it, and you can see there's a little bit of difference from the original, and that's all. We just want a slight little touch. We want a slight little touch to that. That's all it takes. And last but not least, maybe we wanna do the color. You might not wanna to touch this. Maybe you like what you see already. Your camera shot it pretty well, and that's all you need to do. Move on, you don't need to spend hours on this. You can, obviously. You can spend a lot of time on color grading but it might not be something you're into or even are doing, and this might be the fast way to like, yes, let me try it, let me move a few sliders, love it, boom, you're done and you're off to the races. So uh, color-wise, same thing here, there's a master slider, and then there's shadows, midtones, and highlights. So if you just wanted to touch the shadows, you, do, you can use um, the numbers here or just use the sliders. I love the sliders because they just move, you can move them around anywhere you want. Let me just, for example, if I move up, you're seeing you're gonna get some of that some of that blueness or that cold tone. You bring it down, you're getting some red. Just depends on the look you want. And so I'm just gonna pull it back and kind of move it in. I kind of like that little blue tint, especially since I have some blueness in the back. 
and so on and so forth. If that's just, if you're feeling good about that, then boom, you are done. And that's it for me, guys. That is it. Hey, vlog, I forgot to say any, I forgot to say, I totally forgot. This is Vlogmas, day four, crushing it. December 4, we're in the books, we got it done, moving on and marching to video number 900. So stick with me. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you leave a comment down below, I will love it. I know I will love it. And also give me a thumbs up if you liked any part of this video. All right, that's it. Vlogmas day four is done and we gave you four tips and tricks on how to make your videos a little bit more cinematic with the bars, get rid of those keyframes, and get rid of those unwanted keyframes that you just couldn't figure out how to get rid of, fix that audio, at least level it out a little bit, and then finally do that simple color grading. All right, thumbs up. Remember, always sprinkle a little bit of fun in your life and when you're having that fun, remember to always keep it fun enough. I love you guys. Outro. Beep.